Hi grade 12, so here is another video for our notes of balance sheet which is re retaining income and ordinary share capital. So please make sure that you stay tuned, watch until the end of the video so that you will gain another principle that we didn't do on the previous notes of these two. Okay, let's check the question paper that we have. Information related to financial year end 28 February 2022. Okay, required, we are going to prepare these two notes as I said. All right. Now, let's take from our information number A. They give us our closing balances, but they didn't give us opening balance. Okay. Simple means that we can transfer this balance and work it from there. All right. Our closing balances are given, which means that we are going to start down now. Under ordinary share capital, we have amount of 7 million. 954,000. Okay. Under retained income, we have 1,196,000. One it's not always the case where, guys, you are going to be given open balance and you start from top to bottom. Sometimes will, they will give you a closing balance like this case. All right. Now, let's proceed. Okay. The other information they said on 1 March 2021, 75% of the authorized share capital of 1.2 million ordinary share were in issue. In other words, at the beginning, they said that 75% of the share of 1.2 million was issued. So, which means that in order for us to get shares at the beginning, we need to say uh, 1.2 million multiplied by 75 percent then it's gonna give us share at the beginning all right if you do this calculation you are going to get a share of 900 thousand so this is the calculation guys don't mix okay we don't know it was costing how much so which means that we are not going to find this amount now before we proceed okay then they said 80 percent were repurchased which means that under repurchase, we are going to say minus 80,000. 80,000 of shares were repurchased. Okay. And they said from retire a shareholder and he was paid 20%. Uh, that is 136,000 above average share. Remember what I said on the previous video that any amount that is above average is a loss. It's like the, 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 the cost of the share is 10 rand, but we repurchase them by 15 rand, which means that we make a loss of 5 rand. In other words, this 136 that they give us is like this 5 rand. It's a loss. Loss, we record it under what? Retain income because loss is going to reduce what? A net profit that we got. Okay, which means that under repurchase in this case, we are going to put 136 thousand okay you have to write it with brackets this one okay let's proceed then now we have to come back this side now we don't know how much uh, average price which means that we won't be able to find this amount okay now we have to figure out how are we going to do it because the the next transaction they're talking about in term dividends the other one, additional share with no price, which means that we can find it using this price. Remember this 136,000 is 20%. It's 20% of what? Of a normal average price. Okay, which means that we need to multiply by 100 over 20. We are looking for average price. We are not looking for a total if you are looking for total you are going to use 120 but total we don't record it anywhere because 120 we split it to 100 and 20 100 go this side 20 go this side which means that in this case we need to do it like this then if you do this calculation you are going to get a amount of 68 okay amount of 680 we're going to write it here, which means that now we can be able to calculate our average price. 
so that we can calculate the balance at the beginning. You take this one and you divide it by this one. Then you will get amount of 8 rand 50. Okay, which means that now we can go back. If you multiply by this 8 rand 50 by 80,000, obviously it will give you this one. Okay, so now we are going back here. 8 rand 50 multiply by 900,000. Then you will get the amount at the beginning, which is 7 million. 650,000. Okay. Share issued. Okay, I think share issued, we, we saw it under transaction number 45. Additional share, they said, is 150. Okay, which means that share at the end, in order for us to get it, which means that we needed to say 900 minus 80 plus 150, then you will get 9. Seventh. Okay. Now, share issued, they didn't give us what? A price. How are we going to get it? Now, because we have all amount at the beginning, repurchase and balance at the end, we can get it as a balancing figure. You take this one and you subtract everything. Then you will get amount of 984,000. This one, because it's negative, you add this one, you subtract. Okay. Now, to verify that everything is correct, you need to say 7 million minus 680 plus 984,000. Then you will get this amount. Then you will be done with ordinary share capital. Okay, before we proceed to retain income, note guys, I hope you already subscribed to this channel and you like this video. Please do so so that this channel can grow and we're going to keep uploading new video each and every day so that you can learn more principle that you didn't know okay now under this note uh, we only got this amount at the end and what and the share of repurchase okay now let's check what about net profit after tax they said income tax for the year after taking into account all adjustment amounted to 438,000 and this is 30 percent of net profit so basically they didn't give us a net profit after tax they give us tax amount of 438,000 then which means that we need to multiply by 70 because it's after tax it's after they subtracted tax the one that we have is 30 percent the one that we are looking for is after tax which is 100 minus 30 which is 70 then you will get amount of 1 million and 22,000. Okay, let's proceed now. A final dividend, if you check on our financial statement, the shareholders for dividends, it is given a final dividend uh, that is amount of 213,400. Okay, and uh, the other one is interim. Interim, they said, is 28 cents, and it was issued on 31 August, which means that additional is not going to be affected. And the other thing, they said, uh, those who repurchase the share will no longer qualify for any dividends, which means that we need to subtract 80,000 from this 900. Then we're going to get 820. 820. Mapla by 28 cent. Okay. Then you will get uh, an amount of uh, 443,000. Okay. No, this is the total. Uh, the amount was supposed to be 229,600. Then total, it will give you 443,000. Total is interim plus final dividends. All right. Now we already got every amount here. We left with opening balance, which means that you are going to use the same procedure. You start from bottom and whatever that is positive, subtract whatever that is negative, add the way that you do it when you are solving x then you will get 
opening balance of 753,000. That's how you should prepare this note according to this question paper. So I already done two or three other videos which is related to this note. Please go and check them under a playlist of grade 12 so that you will learn another principle and another kind of transaction uh, under this uh, average share calculation so that you can gain more knowledge. I'm going to see you on the next one.